Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Marcel Efraimski and Azumi Hashimoto. This is a game from Chess Olympia, the women's section, played in Batumi, Georgia in 2018. Marcel Efraimski had white pieces and she started with e4. Azumi Hashimoto played e6, d4, d5, the French defense. Knight to d2, black to move, bishop to e7 was played. Knight to f6, c5, and d takes on e4. But at three most played moves. Bishop to e7 was played. Knight on g to f3, knight to f6. E5 attacking the knight and gaining the space on the board. Knight from f to d7. Bishop to d3 aiming at h7. C5 threatening. C4. C3. Knight to c6. Of course, if c4, bishop goes to c2. Knight to c6. Pressure is on the pawn on d4. Marcel Efraimski castled kingside. A5. A4. C takes on d4, c takes on d4, knight to b4 attacking the bishop. This is a very interesting moment of the game. What is the best square for the bishop? And this is not a trick question. What would you do? Most people would play bishop to b1, aiming at h7 square. Marcel Efraimski played bishop to b5, b6, knight to b1, and Azumi Hashimoto castled kingside too. Bishop to f4. Black king feels more safe when white light square bishop is not aiming at him. Knight to b8. Perhaps bishop to a6 should have been considered. Knight to b8 repositioning the knight. Knight to a3 defending the bishop but not obstructing the c-file. Bishop to d7, rook to e1, knight from 8 to c6, rook to e3, king to h8, white to move. This is now very interesting. It was expected that the rook would go to the king's side. Marcel Efroimski played rook to c3, rook to c8, queen to d2, knight to a7, attacking the bishop. It looks like that the white light square bishop will be exchanged. What should I do? To play bishop to e2, a6, what would you do? Marcel Efroimski played knight to g5, not caring about her light square bishop. Knight takes on b5, a takes on b5. Who is better? White or black? Black is a bishop pair, but the position is closed. White has more space. How relevant is that? White pieces enjoy more freedom of movement. White has an easier game. Do you agree? Black to move. H6. Kicking the knight back. Maybe. Rook to H3 was played. Pinning the pawn. King to G8 on pinning and now really threatening pawn takes knight. Knight to F3. Black to move. Black is suffering from the lack of space. So f6 was played. White to move. How would you continue this position if you had white pieces? Please pause and find the best move for white. What did you find? Pawn takes pawn on f6 was expected. And then black would play bishop takes on f6. But there was a surprise. Bishop takes on h6 was played. Black to move. F takes on e5. If g takes on h6, then queen takes pawn on h6. And after say king to f7, queen to h5 check, king to g8, rook to g3 check mate. Back to our game. So after bishop takes on h6, we have f takes on e5. White to move. How would you continue now? Marcel Afraimski played bishop takes on g7. King takes bishop. The crazy bishop must be captured before he makes a hole in the board. 
Queen to h6 check. King to f7. Knight takes pawn on e5 check. King to e8. White to move. White played the move and black resigned. And the move is the obvious one. And that is queen to g6 check. Black resigned in view of this continuation. Rook to f7. Queen takes rook. Check. Mate. Marcel Efrainski from Israel won the brilliant surprise for this game in the round one of the women's section of the tournament. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.